Welcome back to another YouTube video. So in today's video, I'm going to take you through a full day of eating. Seven weeks out from my show. We are seven weeks out on Saturday. It is currently Thursday. So I'm starting my day off with some pre-workout. I use the Gorilla Mode pre-workout and also creatine because I'm going to go do some cardio. I will come back and I'll show you everything I'm eating in a day. Um, calories did get dropped this week. Steps got increased. Cardio got increased. But I don't feel too bad yet. <laughs> And honestly, like my calories aren't too, too low. I am I can't complain. I'm feeling good. And yeah, I just cannot believe we are seven weeks out. Like six weeks until the peak week vlog starts happening. What the heck? I just want to say thank you for the support in all my videos so far. And I hope you enjoyed this one and gained some inspiration. Please don't look to my, like, you know, what I eat in a day as comparison or what you have to do. It's simply just for some motivation and inspiration. I love looking at what I eat in a day is for like meal ideas and everything. So I hope this helps you out. And please don't forget to support by liking and subscribing my video. And yeah, let's get into this full day of eating. Look how clingy this dog is. Right under my feet. So we got these new shelves the other day from Facebook Marketplace and I'm obsessed. But I want to think about like how to style it. My boyfriend and I have completely different tastes in what we like. I like no color beige, like let's keep it simple and chic and modern. And he's like, let's make things colorful, which is why we have orange chairs. <laughs> So gross after that. Oh my, Grover won't shut up, but oh my God. I think it's because I had pre-workout and an empty stomach. That felt disgusting. I did my cardio posing. I'm feeling really good about posing compared to last year. Last year I was a nervous wreck with posing. This year I was like a little bit nervous at the start, but I feel very in flow with it now. It's time for breakfast. I'm making my protein oats. Shock, horror. Have I eaten anything else this prep? Besides when I went to Australia and I had overnight wheat bix I literally have had Biscoff protein oats the whole time. So I'm gonna show you how I make it, even though you've seen me make it a thousand times. Grab your bowl, scale, 
You need three ingredients. Now I already have everything pre-tracked in my fitness pal, which a little tip, if you are someone who is starting their weight loss journey and you're using my fitness pal, pre-track everything in the night before because you don't want to play a guessing game and track throughout the day of like, what am I going to be eating today? If you track the night before, you know what you're going to be eating. You don't have to think, oh, am I going to hit my macros today? Blah, 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 blah. It's like, you just you already do hit your macros. We have some yummy meals today, so I'm excited for this full day of eating because although some of it's the same as what I normally do, I've got a little variety. 50 grams of oats. And I use the water from my water bottle because I like to cheat my water intake, even though it's not really cheating because I still get it in anyway, but I pour the water on top until it covers it. I normally put it in the microwave for a minute and a half if I feel like it needs more uh, cooking. The dogs are freaking out. Then I'll do two minutes. Um, otherwise I like to do a minute and a half and sometimes I have cold water when I mix the protein. In. So a little prep update while we wait for that to cook. Obviously, as I said earlier, I had a big, uh, not a big calorie drop, but a calorie drop nonetheless. And also cardio increase and step increase, which is fun. I'm on like 12,500 steps. 450 calories burnt for cardio twice per week. But I break mine up into five days a week of 180 calories because it just makes me get through it better. My weight, so two weeks ago, I had my lowest weigh-in of like 54 on the dot which was crazy but then um that was two weeks ago now last week and this week has been like in the 54s range but and even sometimes spiking into the 55s but today i hit a low of 54.2 i think which isn't like a low my lowest but it's like on the lower end of what i've had like a new low this week so i think the dropping calories is definitely working and i can i really hope I can get to the 53s by the end of this week. That would be sick. And my last year's stage weight was 52.3. So I kind of want to get a smidge leaner than last year, but obviously don't want to sacrifice shape. But I don't know. The lighting's kind of not doing me great right now. But yeah, that's where we're at. Comp prep update. I honestly think I nailed the consistency. So then zero out the scale and I'm going to add 28 grams of this ghost protein powder. It's the... Uh, Cinnabon, Cinnabon flavor. Ghost have so many good flavors. They like partner with like Oreo and um, I think Reese's too. No, Nutter Butter. Oh man, Nutter Butters. I, they don't have Nutter Butters in Australia. And when I had my first Nutter Butter last year after comp, they're so good. Oh my gosh. It's like peanut butter biscuit with like peanut butter stuff in the middle. It's like an Oreo, but like peanut butter. Okay, and then I just mix the protein powder in. And now for the star of the show, I'm using 13 grams of Biscoff. And that is her. That is meal one. So we are moving on to my next meal, which is going to be egg whites, corn thins, and while the pan's heating up, I'm going to make my corn thins. So we're getting, I feel like I need a place you want a lower surface, but I don't really have one. I need an actual tripod for my camera. I have one for my phone. So we're gonna do corn thins. I, yesterday I put the avocado on first and then tried to put Vegemite and it like just kind of didn't work. So I'm gonna put Vegemite on first and then put avocado on top. I personally don't weigh out my Vegemite because it like never weighs out properly and it's so low that it's fine. God, I love Vegemite. It's so good. Especially the combo of Vegemite and avocado. Chef's kiss. Next we've got 40 grams of avocado. Next we use some spray oil. Make sure you use spray oil or if you use don't use spray oil. Make sure that you are tracking the oil you use because yeah, calories. Doing 125 grams of egg whites. I like to use St. Elmo seasoning on my eggs. It tastes so good. Probably a little too generous, but oh well, what can you do?
gym and I'm really hungry. So this is going to go down an absolute treat. I'm moving you guys over here. I'm going to be making a pepperoni flatbread pizza. Starting off preheating the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't know what that is. Celsius 185, I think. And then I'm going to show you guys how I'm making my pizza. And it's literally under 300 calories. Is it the most nutritionally dense meal? No. But I bought pizza for a date night. Josh and I did. Like I bought ingredients for like a pizza night. And I don't want the ingredients to go to waste. So I'm just eating it. Abs are popping today. So I use the lavish breads for one serve is 120 calories. I apologize for how bad the lighting is as well. I know it's terrible. So I'm going to use 40 grams of this pizza sauce. Next up, I use 35 grams of mushrooms and I sort of break it up in there. I used to be such a mushroom hater, but now I love it. And it's so good for volume as well if you're dieting. I could honestly use way more than 35 grams, but what I tracked, so that's what I'm having. Next, I'm using this fat-free mozzarella cheese which is, you know, again, probably not the best for you, but it's fat free and my fats are super duper low right now. So I'm not even gonna tell you the number because it's disgustingly low, but we're gonna have 45 grams, which is a generous amount. And then we're gonna top it off with 18 slices of some turkey pepperonis. I have a feeling that we don't even have, oh wait, no, we might have 18 slices. Generally I'll put like 16 on and then just eat a few of them because why not? <laughs> Nine, ten. We only had ten left, so we actually didn't have that many, which kind of sucks. I'm gonna have to re-change some things on my macros, but and we've definitely got to add some seasoning. So I'm gonna add some garlic powder, crushed red pepper or chili flakes. Yum! This is gonna be so good. Now I'm just gonna wait for the oven to preheat a little bit longer. Put it in there. And I bake it in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes. And that is my lunch. I'm very keen to get into this and eat it. I'm starving. It's me in the kitchen again, which is all this video <laughs> basically is. Also, I think I went a little bit overboard with the blush today, but I'm again, I'm starving. So I'm gonna make a yogurt bowl now. I hate being the last one to finish off a tub of yogurt. It's so annoying. Also, I am so sorry about the lighting. It is, I know, horrendous. But we're going to start off with some Oikos yogurt. We're going to have 225 grams. Next, we're using 12 grams of PB2 powder that I mixed into the yogurt. This makes the texture so yummy. 90 grams of mixed berries. Normally, I have more. I've just had to fiddle around with my food a little bit today since... Like I ran out of pe pepperoni and then I wasn't going to have, I don't even know. I just like shuffled things around a bit today. Boom, and then because I didn't have enough pepperoni in my earlier meal and my cheese was fat free, I get a little bit of peanut butter, like real peanut butter, which I'm actually going to melt. That's how much I get. But I'll still take it. So I'm going to melt it and drizzle it on top. Peanut butter has no business being this good. And then I... On, I'm so sorry for the lighting. I hate the lighting in this apartment. A drizzle of cinnamon. And that is my next meal. Plain, simple yoga bowl with some frozen berries. Okay, so my last meal of the day is my Asian salad, which I didn't film how to make it because I literally filmed it in my video last week. So if you wanna see how I make my Asian salad, watch last week's video. But essentially it's just a uh, coleslaw mix, tuna, skinny girl, Asian salad, uh, Asian dressing and avocado and sriracha. And that's what it looks like. So this looks really good. I'm excited. The avocado was perfect today too. Like, look at that. 
So I'm excited to get in. This is my last meal. So I will sign this video off here. I also have two liters or just over two liters of water per day. I should have more, but that's what I can do. And I'll probably have a sugar free sun kissed as well, but I'm going to leave it there. I want to try and edit and get this video up tonight, but thank you guys so much for watching another video. It would mean the world if you could subscribe, comment, support. I can't believe we only have seven weeks left. I appreciate you guys for tuning in and all the support and I'll catch you in next week's video. Bye.